Adjustment layer and presets. So, what do we need to use to get one effect or another? Let's consider such a thing as an adjustment layer. It's created in new item, adjustment layer, in the project panel. By default it's created with a size equal to the selected active sequence. Then we click OK and move it to the timeline. Adjustment layer is essentially an empty transparent video with one important feature. Any effect that is applied to this video is reflected on all the videos below it. First of all, we can apply any color correction to the adjustment layer. Thus, it will be reflected on all the videos below it. The effect stops working as soon as the video ends with the adjustment layer. Due to this feature, we can create any effect that we need. For example, we choose fast blur in order to get the effect of horizontal blurring. Our image is blurred horizontally. To do it, we take fast blur, apply it to the adjustment layer and move it to the splice. We can use the M hot key to highlight the splice or any other area with a marker. When we move the adjustment layer, it will be spliced to the place where the lower clips are spliced together. Now we put three points to fast blur in the effect controls. In the middle, at the beginning and at the end, we have fixed three values. Then we set the central blurness value to 92. Select blue dimensions horizontal and enable repeat edge pixels. So we have got the desired effect. Here you can edit non-linearity. Let's set the is out interpolation to the first point, the is in interpolation to the end point, and stretch the tendrils a little. If we want to make the effect slower, then we will push the adjustment layer and the points on the effect controls panel. Next, we copy the created adjustment layer to other splices. What should we do if we want to use the created adjustment layer in other projects? Naturally, we need to save it as a preset. To do it, we right click on the name of the effect and select save preset. In the period window, we write the name and select the parameter that shows how the points with the created animation will stretch if we apply them to another adjustment layer or clip with a different length. The points will stretch with the scale parameter. The anchor to in point parameter allows points to snap to the beginning, but the time interval between them won't change. There is anchor to out point where the points snap to the end. The parameter will allow you to retreat from the end by as many pixels as seconds we have now. Then it rewinds it back, leaving the same intervals between them. In our case, we select scale and click save. You can find it in the effects panel in presets. We can also use it further. For example, we opened another project, selected a different adjustment layer, cut its length and applied our created preset. Thus, we can make a lot of transitions and presets using different effects and parameters. A preset can include a large number of parameters. To do it, we need to highlight all the effects together and create a preset. If we repeat any action in the project more than three times, then we should assign shortcuts and create a preset. It will simplify our work and save processing time.